Hi everyone, it's Song from Daily Drop In. So, for today's episode, I'm back with another reading. Da -da -da -da. It's Dojo Day Trip by Chris Tukas, and of course, it's one of my favorite. On top of that, at the end of this episode, we're going to do some fun drawing activity. Hmm, can't wait to have fun drawing with you guys. Why don't we get start? Dojo Day Trip is a good laugh out loud storybook, told in rhyming words with playful rhythm, plus a lot of hilarious illustrations with very engaging and also can lead to another learning experience, for example, drawing. Why don't we start reading right now? Our kids book. The little ninjas shout, hooray! Today's our dojo day trip, yay! With master leading arm in arm, they leave the bus to tour the farm. Look, they all look very excited. First, they stop to feed the sow. When suddenly, yikes and yow! What happened? Oh no! It's gonna be really hard to clean up. Poor master. Master wise up in the trough. When little ninja scamper off. Scaring scarecrows. Freeing chicks. Giving fences. Row house kicks. Oh my goodness, these little ninjas. They're very silly. Don't you think? It's a big barnyard disaster. No one's there to save the master. The ninjas all forgot their creed. Always help someone in need. I think they need to remember that. Ninjas high inside the barn. As master calls across the farm. Come here. Come help me milk the cow. When suddenly... Yikes and yow! Oh no! Again, master! See if they're gonna help him. Master flees the red barn racing. From a bull that's charging and chasing. Ninjas chase each other too. Oh no! They're being silly again. Making horns and yelling. Moo! It's a barnyard disaster. No one's there to save the master. The ninjas all forgot their creed. You guys remember their creed? Always help someone in need. Hmm, I really hope they'll learn that lesson. We'll see. Master hitches up the plow when suddenly yikes and yow again. Aww. The horse is spooked and sprints away, dragging master through the hay. Ninjas clap and cheer him on until they realize something is wrong. Oh, I think they're gonna turn the action around, I hope. We'll see. A big barnyard disaster. Save me, ninjas, cries the master. Now the master need help. See what the ninja is gonna do. Ha! Huh. Remembering the ninja's creed. They rush to help with ninja speed. That is great. Now they remember. Always help someone in need. That's great. Let's continue. With the master safe and sound. The little ninja sip around. They feed the sound. They milk the cow, oh, they're helping. And give the few a ninja plow. <laughs> That's great. They fix things up around the farm. And even paint the old red barn. Look, they're helping each other. What a great teamwork. The little ninjas give a bow. Very respectful. Master bows and whisper. Wow. He's really impressed. Quietly without fuss, 
The ninjas bought the ninja bus. Look, they're lining up nicely, walking up the bus. Very good students. Ninjas sit down, row by row. Master drives off nice and slow. They sing the Jojo travel song. Master sigh and sings along. <laughs> it was a long day for the master, but guess what? That's the students turn the action around. I would be very proud of my student. All is calm, at least for now. But down the road, <gasps> no, what's on the bus? The bull. See what's gonna happen. Da -da -da -da. Yikes and yow. That's the end. Yeehaw. That is so fun. How was it, everyone? Now, let's move to the drawing activity. Check it out. Let's start with our younger ones. We can simply show them how to use their finger, tracking and drawing tracing in the book. They can use their fine motor skill to draw trees and clouds or any other objects in the book. Plus, you can challenge them by using smaller items like pencils or pens to help them learn how to hold using their fine motor skills and also drawing in details. What a great idea, right? Now, let's move on to some basic drawing ideas. Let's start with tracing shapes. Do you know that tracing is not only helping with fine motor skill, but it's also support children to develop their pre-writing skills, which of course contributes solely to literacy skill and writing skills. Wow! Plus, on top of that, the children will have an opportunity to practice their hand-eye coordination too. What a great idea to include it in your drawing. Nice! Another skill that we can incorporate to drawing activity is letter recognition. Tracing is a simple way to start teaching them how to write the alphabet. However, remember to start from something simple so they can gain their focus and confidence and plus don't lose that interest in writing. Have fun, parents! For this part of the video, it's the step-by-step -step drawing different characters from the book for older children. So kids, feel free to pause and stop to catch up. You guys are all very talented artists, so have fun. Remember, practice makes perfect. So. Don't go too hard on yourself.
I know you guys did awesome sauce on the first part of step by step drawing. Now we're gonna challenge ourselves a little bit more by drawing the full body of a ninja bowing to the ninja master. Let's do it everyone! Just a reminder, you do it at your own pace, no pressure. Stop and pause whenever you like and have fun! We did it everyone! Hooray! Before I go, I have one more tip to share. So, if you want to do more practice on drawing and improving your skills, you can use tracing paper. It's not only make it easier for you, but you can do it with your parents too, right? Teach them how to draw. Or if you don't have a tracing paper, parchment paper from your kitchen will do just fine. That's it for today everyone. I hope you really enjoyed the story and the drawing activity. And remember that it's not about making perfect drawing. It's the fun that you have when you use your creativity and imagination to draw. Right? Uh, oh, one more thing. Remember what the ninja master said? Always help someone in need. Stay tuned. Bye.